Hello! So if you're into neural networks and AI, you may have seen this Glide Automatic Image Generator. And I don't really understand most of it, but basically, you put in a caption like a platypus wearing a cowboy hat, and you get an image out. It's basically magic. And what's cool is that they actually released the code this time, or at least a filtered version of it, and it was pretty easy to modify it and get it running. So with that, let's take a look at some of the pictures I was able to make. First, we've got some pretty easy stuff, not too interesting. It's a room, but it was made by an AI. There's a black room and a white room. We've got a pair of pants, and I would note that there's no people in the pants. And wonderful, okay, nothing really controversial about that. But when I tried the original OpenAI samples that were more complicated, like Corgi wearing red bow tie and purple party hat, we see that it doesn't just integrate all of the information together properly. We have corgis, we have party hats, we have bow ties, we have red, we have purple, but not all together. Similarly, we have a painting of a fox, but it's not in the style of the Starry Night. It's a very nice fox, though. And then we have a hedgehog, but it's not even attempting to give it a calculator. And so we'll keep seeing this where it gets kind of the basic idea of it right, but it also misses the point. So we've got Nike shoes with no Nike, and we've got skydiving, but with no person. And the reason for this is because it's a filtered model. They took out everything even remotely related to people before they released this model. And I mean, like, I understand why they did this, but if you want a chicken to be wearing pants, well, you know who normally wears pants? People. That said, there is actually one chicken that appears to be wearing pants in the top left corner. It gets worse if you uh, actually say things that are, like, really related to people. The model just kind of produces nonsense or hallucinates animals um, or surprisingly trucks like it produced trucks more than once it also does interesting things to uh, gibberish where it might produce trucks other than trucks a few things caused it to just like make random nonsense of uh, figures uh, like if you asked to make a flow chart or uh, a youtube thumbnail or if you try to speak chinese at it it doesn't speak chinese it also doesn't really like vague or impossible concepts necessarily, like nothing. Though I was hoping that with this uh, Klein bottle thing, it would at least give me a Klein bottle, but it just gave me regular bottles, not even zero dimensional ones. I'm not sure if it knows what COVID is, but these images kind of just like freak me out. For the most part, it was really good at understanding art styles, uh, even if it didn't really uh, integrate it with the other concept correctly. So, like, it gets steampunk, for instance, or it can do cartoons and chickens, but not, you know, the silly putty thing. It wasn't able to do dot matrix, which was kind of surprising. Finally, we've got the things where it either got the concept totally correct, or the final uh, result was just so awesome, or, like, in this case, unsettling. Like, vampire Peppa Pig, look at that thing on the left. I would worship that. I am your god. This one, I think the model actually outdid me. I was hoping for like a rainbow where just the rainbow itself was black and white, but it created images where the left and right side were black and white. $100 bill with animal at center. Um, I feel like the original model could have done better, but it absolutely provided what I wanted. Maybe stamps too. A finger painting of a hovercraft full of eels. It's not all of them are finger paintings. Not all of them are hovercrafts, but it looks like a hovercraft eel hybrid. Mad points. Crayon depiction of cancer. I'm not sure if it's cancer, but some of them might be how a child would imagine cancer. Thousand points. Soup with tiny rockets inside. The fourth one from the left is a rocket made out of soup parts. Massive points. Hybrid of Pikachu in a toaster oven. None of these look like Pikachu in a toaster oven, but fourth one from the left again. Ghibli, 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 ghibli. Blue and yellow heptagons did a good job. Not all of them are heptagons, but enough of them are. Human curates it. Fine. Eyes made out of fire. Whoosh, whoosh. They're not quite eyes, necessarily. They're made out of fire. Psychedelic, great at producing stuff like this. 
It's not Wayne Strange brain, but it's trippy enough. And last but not least, an unusual depiction of God. This impressed me until I saw that picture of Peppa Pig. <laughs>